वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ मी एंड इंडियन इंजीनियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई अपॉलोजेज फॉर नॉट बीइंग सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड फॉर नॉट अपलोडिंग द वीडियो ऑन टाइम एंड येस दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट वॉट थिंग्स यू हैव टू डू एज सुन एज यू कम टू कैनेडा देर आर फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स यू हैव टू डू एज सुन एज यू कम टू कैनेडा सो बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू ऑल फॉर सो मच सपोर्ट एंड and love you have shown so far and yes we hit 2000 subscribers and yes keep it coming and let's make it 10000 subscribers if you haven't subscribed till now and watching this video please go there and click the red button below yes let's get started so the first thing you have to do as soon as you come to canada is get your social insurance number social insurance number is also known as sin number which is nothing but it officially tells that you can work in canada for 20 hours per week legally and is uh, you have to get sin number first and you can go to locations like service canada service ontario i'll put all the location links in the description box below so you can directly check the description box and you can directly go to that particular available locations and i'll be updating only toronto's locations in the description box and because i don't know about other provinces and other cities so if you are in toronto you can you can go to that particular any of the particular locations and get your sin number to get your sin number you need to show your study permit you need to show your passport there are no photocopies required you have to show your original study permit so no one asks you to get a photocopy of these documents and the second thing open a bank account if you are supposed to open your bank account uh, through which you receive your gic funds so just concentrate on that bank itself you can open any bank account here in canada so i receive funds from scotia bank each and every month in the form of gic so uh, i went to scotia bank and without any appointment uh, and there are no availability of slots so before going to any scotia bank particularly scotia bank because i don't know about other banks so you have to book an appointment and you have to carry your gic fund transfer documents and carry your study permit passport college of a letter anything required carry all the original documents and if you book an appointment it will be very easy for you and everything will be done accordingly if you haven't booked an appointment you will face problems because if there are no slots available in that particular day and if there is a lot of rush in scotia bank you have to go for another scotia bank branch so instead of that i'll put a link in the description box below go to that uh, click on that link and book an appointment if you are willing to open a bank account in scotia bank and again you don't have to carry any photocopies of your documents you have to carry the original documents itself I've, uh, as soon as i opened my scotia bank account i've received 2000 uh, dollars as initial funds and each and every month they said that i'll receive 617 dollars for next 12 months so that is how gic works third getting a sim card there are so many networks like rogers fido virgin mobile and etc you can choose according to your province or uh, city because few networks work really good in few cities and few networks don't work in other cities so it's better to ask your seniors and according to your city choose the best network and whenever you are purchasing a new phone i would suggest you to inquire the student offers available i brought my mobile iphone 7 plus 128 gb for some amount and uh, i brought that phone from wireless wave store i asked in two wireless wave stores and two stores told me two different prices two different deals are available in the same company store at different locations so i think i made some sense right so just go to five six random stores available and ask them what are the best offers available for students before asking for any discount or offer available you have to mention that you are a student so there are so few special considerations for students when it comes to any store here so if there is available it will be very helpful for you right and there is no rule that you have to purchase a new phone as soon as you come to canada you can bring your old phones from uh, india or from whichever your home country is and everything works here if something is not working you you can buy a new phone 
I just bought a new phone because previously I used to have iPhone 5s and the quality of videos are not bad and now I just thought to improve the videos quality so I brought a new phone there is nothing that you have to really buy a new phone it's based on your requirements and your choice and if you can wait till Christmas or Thanksgiving you can get good deals and the fourth thing is getting a metro pass metro pass is nothing but TTC Toronto Transit Commission uh, you will have a bus it's like a bus pass you can travel in subway network and you can travel in any of the buses there are like monthly TTC pass daily pass and weekly pass so you can get these passes at any subway stations uh, i've put all the price details of these passes in the description box below so don't forget to check that out so let me know if you want me to make a video especially on these bus pass thing and all let me know if you want me to explain all how it works like how much you have to pay once you get into a local bus and how to get the transfers and all i'm ready to make a video on that let me know by commenting below this video if you find this video useful please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and you can follow me on all my social media i will put all my social media links in the description box below so don't forget to check that out and you can watch my previous videos on what all apps are useful for students living in canada you can click the i button here for that video Thanks for watching. See you next Friday. Bye.